So I want to take a quick moment to cover how this patch works and how it's controlling uh, another movie here inside of Max. So the first thing that I did here was I um, set up a microphone uh, and a monitor just so I could hear what was going on uh, and make sure that I was getting some audio. Um, that I run through just a, a simple tool here to make sure that I can actually see some line levels to get a sense of what's happening. And then I set a threshold for when I wanted this to actually activate this bang trigger. So if we uh, toggle this on here, we can actually see that uh, the microphone is listening to me. We can uh, get a sense of how it's uh, interpreting the volume that's coming out of that. We can also see that uh, it's not triggering the bang right now. So in this case, um, the threshold that I've set this to is 1.6. And the way that I calculated this particular threshold um, was that here in Max, I just created a new uh, floating point value. And I take the, the output from here, I throw it into the floating point value. Uh, and then I can get a, a numerical readout from what's happening in terms of the frequency. And uh, then I took a simple uh, print line command. So print. Uh, and now what I can do is I can actually get a, a record of what's coming out of this. So looking at the data stream that's kind of flowing out of, out of here, I can see that this is uh, what's generating, uh, what's going on in terms of volume and decided that the best way to try and calibrate the threshold was then to, to clap here, so, and um, what I saw in this process is that that was really some, a value that was greater than 1 and especially greater than 1.5. In this case it was good and loud 1.9, so I could probably turn this up if I wanted to. And so at that point what happens is that that's at greater than 1.9, it passes that value which is uh, interpreted as a bang. The bang then runs down here to our um, movie uh, object and starts this whole business going. So well, one of the other handy things here is that this bang also turns off the microphone um, and the monitor so that I, can, I don't have to worry about this uh, part of the patch interfering with any other part of um, a system or installation that it's attached to. So this operates independently, it can be plugged into anything as a triggering system. And what you saw with the two computers set up at the same time is that uh, they both had this patch running with the same piece of media. They were both listening, and when I clapped, then they just started playing. One thing worth considering is that if this was in a, a large space, let's say you were dealing with you know, 50 or 60 laptops um, that were all listening for the same bang or the same clap, you might have to do some individual calibration just depending on the volume um, that each computer was hearing. Because a computer that was further away might not necessarily hear uh, the clap the same way. So you would just have to adjust the, the threshold values here to determine what was going to be appropriate for each machine. If you were in a, an acoustically kind of evenly spaced um, room, you might be able to get away without making any changes to the trigger. Anyway, so that's how this works. Um, we can see it with two, computer wor two computers um, working, and we'll see what that looks like uh, later maybe with uh, more computers at another time. Thank you.